Howdy everyone, today we are at Magic Kingdom. We don't really have any uh, big plans or anything, but uh, we're gonna maybe try to see if we can ride the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and uh, a few others, but uh, basically just take the day as it comes at us. So uh, come on, let's go. And of course, as soon as we walk in, we run into Lady and the Tramp setting up on their pedestal. Love these 50th anniversary statues. These golden statues are awesome. There's nothing like walking down the middle of Main Street first thing in the morning with the castle right there looking right back at us how awesome is that welcome past the courtyard nice serene view so we're in line for seven dwarves mine train it says it's a 45 minute wait time so uh, we'll see we'll see if that's true or not oh we're headed straight into the vault somebody left the vault open too right there is the key Seven Dwarves Mine Train, and the wait time was right at about 45 minutes, which is pretty we good. We got in line at 8.33. We were off the ride by 9.07. So, I mean, considering that this is the ride that everybody goes to first thing in the morning, I think now it's up to around 75 minutes right now. So, uh, I think we did pretty good, and uh, it's a fun ride. I like it. I like Seven Dwarves Mine Train. It's cute. It is. Okay, so we just mobile ordered from the Friars Nook. Um, got a tater tot gravy bowl and a breakfast sandwich all right and here is our Where's breakfast my phone? Oh, you got my phone. i got your phone here is our breakfast and uh, there is the breakfast sandwich it looks really good it looks different than what i thought it would that looks really good and then the the potato barrels with gravy i think you need to go ahead and dig into that sandwich it's got bacon on there too Mm, look at that. Mm. How was it? Excellent. So what else on there? You got bacon, cheese, egg. That's it. Hmm. Looks nice. So it was good. That was amazing. All right, it's my turn to try my um, gravy and potato barrels. Here we go. That gravy's good. Sausage gravy. It's really good. Hey, look what we found outside the Pinocchio Village restaurant. We got Pinocchio himself celebrating the 50th anniversary. And here's the Mad Hatter out here celebrating the 50th with his golden statue. And of course you got to have the Shashar cat sitting out here as well. All right, now we're going to head over, head over towards Space Mountain and uh, see if we can get on that ride. Hopefully the line's not too bad. Let's uh, go check it out. <laughs> it's one of, my, one of my favorites. 
here at the Magic Kingdom. Well, that was interesting. I've never done that before. I have an ECV. Um, with Space Mountain, the ECVs can't really go through the regular queue. So, in order for me to be able to ride the ride, I have to get a return time. So, I'm still waiting in line. I'm still technically waiting in line. I'm just not in the current line. I have to come back at 10.09 to get in the line again to ride so that I'm not just taking up space in the line with a thing that won't go through. It's, it's kind of like the DAS pass system, which is disability access system. Um, you go, you register at the line, and they give you a time to come back. Usually the time is according to however long the wait time is. It's simple, it's easy. Um, you still are waiting, um, regardless, you're still waiting. You're just not in the actual line. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've never went through that before. And it's it's uh, like 9.46 and our return time is 10.09. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. This is, we don't have to go through that big old long queue, but we're still having to wait. And when it's time to return, we will just return to the, uh, the ECV line. Yeah, it's almost like a, a, a a uh, fast pass return it says uh two guests at 10:09 a.m is our return time yeah, i miss fast pass <laughs> all right we just got off space mountain and i guess that's basically how the lightning lane is going to work because uh, when we got to our return time, they led us right down the uh, Lightning Lane line. Lightning Lane line. Say that five times fast. Lightning, Lightning Lane, Lane line. line. Lightning Lightning yeah, line. I can't do that. <laughs> so, yeah, so that, that wasn't too bad. It's pretty cool. And yeah, it wasn't bad. But um, I will say if you're going to do the ECV, um, if you have an ECV, park on the exit side of Space Mountain <laughs> so you don't have to walk all the way around the crowd to get back to your ECV. Because that was the trick. And also, possibly use a uh, courtesy wheelchair to go through the line because that's a pretty good walk, too. If it's a walking issue that you have and not just, you know, mo it, it's, I don't know how to explain this, but anyway, if walking is the issue, if being on your feet is the issue, um, and you can't take the EC, you cannot take the ECB through Space Mountain, get a courtesy wheelchair. That trek up to the actual ride and back from getting off the ride is a good one. So use the courtesy wheelchair. I like that ride. Is I that, love the ride. The ride's worth every space, minute of the Space pain. Mountain's awesome. Space Mountain's <laughs> awesome. All right, so we, uh, we're cutting across the park to Big Top Souvenirs because rumor has it, the ears that she's been looking for are located in here. So uh, I guess we will find out. <laughs> I love this shop. It's like you really are in a Big Top Circus. A big old circus tent. <laughs> it's really neat. The theming is incredible as always. Oh, so they got a lot of sweet treats in here as well to go along with some of the uh, the souvenirs. Wow, look at that. Oh. My, oh my. All right, we struck out with the ears. Those were not the ears she was looking for. Uh, they had some, but just not the ones that she wanted. Uh, they got more treats in there now than souvenirs, it seems. So uh, the quest will continue. So now the idea is to go ahead and get in line for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. She loves Winnie the Pooh and all his friends. So uh, we're gonna see if we can get a glimpse of them. I'm going to ride Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. He's one of my all time favorites, but Eeyore is my favorite, favorite character in all of the Magic Kingdom. I know, I know. They said about a 25 minute wait. Yeah. So, uh, 1048. It's probably about right. What are you doing to your shoes? And here we are at Pooh's house.
25 minute loop, maybe push them in 30. Um, it's a fun little cute little ride. It's not a must do every time, but seeing as how I adore Winnie the Pooh and it brings back wonderful fond memories, we had to do Winnie the Pooh because I just love that silly old bear. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people might consider that a uh, kitty ride, but I don't care. It's still a lot of fun. It's cute. We're at the uh, the back side of the castle now. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. With the 50th anniversary celebration decorations up. <laughs> That's just awesome. Let's go ahead and walk through this castle and look at the uh, the mural the, the the murals they have on the wall. Yeah, these things are just gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Love the, uh, all the work they put into making these things. They're just absolutely incredible. Right, now we're exiting out from underneath the castle. Look at the view right down the middle of Main Street. Looking all the way down there, all them people. And then we turn around and we can look straight up at the castle. Oh wow, look at that 50th anniversary emblem. That thing is huge and beautiful too. Love the colors. So we lucked out and was able to get lunch reservations for Liberty Tree Tavern. It's one of our favorite sit-down restaurants. It's nice, cool. We love the colonial theme inside the restaurant. It's awesome. And so uh, we're looking forward to that. You know, I never noticed this before. This old sleigh sitting outside your old Christmas shop. Isn't that neat? While waiting on our lunch reservations, but what do you know, here comes a uh, here comes a cavalcade right here in front of us. How awesome is that? Well, that was awesome. I love the cavalcades and it's a perfect timing because now it's time to go eat. Hey, we're going to go eat at Liberty Tree Tavern which is a uh, sit down restaurant. It's all you care to eat. It's family style. They bring it out on a skillet to you and you just get to pick off what you want and uh, order more whatever you want. And uh, It's really good. She really likes it. It's really good. So, it's, uh, it's basically Thanksgiving dinner, mm -hmm. uh, and it's not Thanksgiving, so, you know, I love Thanksgiving. That's like my favorite holiday because I love to eat. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I do too. I love Thanksgiving dinner. Let's go eat. Okay. All right. Here is the lunch barcode. You guys at home want to scan that with your phone to pull it up? Okay. So, what I really love about this restaurant is it is set in colonial times. But one thing I miss tremendously is the fact that it used to be a character dining when uh, the husband and I used to come years and years ago. Um, we came here and we got to see many dressed in her colonial gear, Goosey and Chip and Dale. And it was amazing. Some of the best character interactions I've had. So that is something I truly miss is the character interactions that were here and the love that they did me when back. Alright, so they brought out the uh, the salad. Looks very good, very good, very fresh. Looks alright, and then of course they got the the bread service with the rolls, a little bit of butter. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta try the bread first. Alright, so the bread is very soft. Very good. I love soft doughy bread. And that's what this taste sucks. It's very soft. Add a little bit of butter to it. 
This is awesome bread. I love these rolls. All right, so she's gonna sample the salad here. Let us know what it's like. It's like a vinaigrette dressing. And it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. It's not balsamic, but it's, it's a sweet with just a little bit of sour to it. Very good. So our food is here, and of course, macaroni and cheese is something they always bring to the table. There's the gravy. There is the green beans and the mashed potatoes. The green beans here are amazing. Then you've got the pot roast. You've got the pork. Mmm, that's some good stuff. And of course, you got your turkey. And in the middle is your stuffing. And your cranberry sauce. So there it all is. Mmm, 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 good. Now the way you're supposed to do this is you gotta get a little bit of turkey, mashed potato, stuffing, gravy, get it all on there in one bite. So moist, so juicy. That's good. That's really good. Now time for the pot roast. Now it is time for dessert. This is the ooey gooey toffee cake. See, it's got the ice cream right there on top. Why don't you dig into that? Get you a little piece. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> it's definitely ooey gooey. That cavalcade was so super sweet and so cute. I love Panchito and Jose. They are from the ride in Mexico Pavilion at the Three Caballeros, um, some of my favorite characters. Um, also Stitch, uh, my youngest son is a huge Stitch fan, has been since he was very, very young. Um, and Stitch is just adorable. And seeing Max, that's a rarity. Uh, Max, most of you may or may not know, that's Goofy's son. Um, <laughs> It's always a pleasure to see him. And then Clara Belcow, she's uh, on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and several other, several other shows. I'm getting tongue tied. I love Bill. <laughs> we have been racking up on these cavalcades today. It's like every time we turn around, here comes another one. And I love Bill. <laughs> Country Bear Jamboree. It's a classic. I love this old show.
And there is Orange Bird in his golden celebration statue. Just hanging out. And of course we got to get Dumbo and Timothy hanging out here in their celebration statue. You know, no matter how many times that you see it, it's still very beautiful. The way it glistens in the sunlight. That big old 50, 50th anniversary medallion is up there. It's awesome. I love the new colors. When I first heard they were painting it for the celebration, I wasn't sure that I was going to enjoy that too much. But after seeing it, yeah, it works. It definitely works. Of course, you got to stop and uh, say hey to Cogsworth and Lumiere in their 50th celebration. I really like the pedestals. The, the colors of these things is amazing. They did a great job with that. Let's go check out Sir Mickey's. This is uh, a really awesome little shop in here. If you uh, if you look closely in here, you see right there is the giant being nosy, prying into the roof, taking a peek inside, and looky there. There's another one. They're just hanging out. All right, so we're walking into the Emporium here and she found her ears. These are the ones she's been looking for this whole trip. They are very nice looking. Yep. They light up. Oh, they're, they're the rechargeable ones, ain't they? Yep. Oh, wow, yeah. Those are awesome. Yep. Here they are. Another pair of ears to add to the collection. And so with that, I think we're going to call it a day. Yeah. We, we've got some other things planned, but uh, we, we're done exploring the park. Yeah, we saw a lot of cavalcades, got some more of those statues, and uh, just had, had some shopping. Did some shopping, rode a few rides. It was fun, but uh, it's time to wrap it up. Yep, time to so, wrap it up for, until, for the park day. Until next time, stay, stay charming. charming.